Um, I'm going to give you a quick video on how to properly solder with a brand new pot, brand new wire. And um, hopefully this will make your job faster, easier, um, and more professional. Hopefully. Um, so, a lot of guys like putting a little sandpaper here, sandpaper in the pots. I don't like to do that. I heard it's actually bad for it. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. But um, I find that if you have a good iron... Um, a good tip, clean tip on the iron, and it gets hot enough. It's got to get hot enough. If it doesn't, your solder is going to ball up. It's going to chunk up. It's never going to stick, and you're just going to get frustrated and waste a lot of solder um, in the process. So what I like to do is um, have a handy sponge aside, a damp sponge so you can clean and stuff like that. Um, the solder that I use that I like is the 6040 Radio Shack Rosin Core solder. Um, it's not too bad, lasts a while. I heard the thinner the better for solder, but, you know, this is pretty thin. It's not too bad. I never had any problems with it. Um, first, we're going to tin the actual pot with the iron and some solder, and then we're going to tin the tip of this, and uh, it should work out great. I also have, if you want, you know, want to make one of these, it's very easy. It's a little alligator clip, and uh, I attached it to an old little screwdriver. Um, so I don't have to get my fingers all in there and stuff like that. I'm not going to use it for this, but I just figured it'd be a tip. Plus, it's good for uh, other things if you uh, catch my drift. So, back to soldering here. All right. So right now we're going to tin the actual pot itself. And what I like to do is first I tin the tip, just get a little bit of solder on there, um, and then just kind of hold it there. Let it heat up, not too much. You don't have to press real hard either. But see it kind of bubbling up there? That's what we want. Let that sit for a second. And now we're going to tin. Make sure you take proper precautions, dude. Like, I know I'm not doing this right. It's all you safety guys out there are probably cringing. Um, then I put a little bit of solder on the actual wire itself. All right. Now, get it right where you want it. I use cloth wire because I like the way it bends and stuff like that. Some say it sounds better and stuff like that. I don't know. I just find that it works better. If you want to sound better, practice. That's my advice. Um, Alright, so now... Oh, my finger's in the way, sorry. I'm going to apply the iron where I want it. Right there on top of the wire. Add a little bit more solder and just kind of wait for that little ball. Let it dry, don't blow on it. I heard it causes bubbles or some crap and then, you know, doesn't make your solder joint good. But hopefully that helps and don't forget, always clean that tip off, take a file to it afterwards. Make sure it's always clean. Tin it one more time before you unplug it. And you shouldn't have a problem. Um, I hope this helps you. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.